Hi, Kiki here, and welcome to another Kiki vs. IT. This is an exciting one. I think they're all exciting, but I'm actually really looking forward to this one. So, uh, I got my Chibitronics in the mail a little while back. I ordered these when I was looking around for Circuit Scribe when it had its Kickstarter campaign going, and uh, I thought that it would be a great addition to the Circuit Scribe pack. So I ordered them and got them early, way early, <laughs> for my Circuit Scribe. So I kind of sat on them for a while. But then little by little, I started to find neat things to do with these little stickers. They're just, they're some of their LED stickers and they're just electronics that you can play with instead of having to solder wire together you basically just stick them in line and things happen it's really neat but all I've really played with are these guys the little LEDs and copper wire and batteries and I've had a good time so far but I want to go just a little further today and I thought what I would do for this challenge is take one of the challenges that they provide in their circuit sticker sketchbook and see if I could get those to work. So I'm going to put you on the tripod and pull you over to my work area and we are going to try one of these together. If you want to save this video and get a set of your own, I will put links down below as to where you can get this stuff and how much everything costs. Uh, if you are wondering, if you may have already seen this because you remember the look and the injured nail, then maybe you watched my Makey Makey unboxing, which I just did a few seconds ago. So, uh, yeah, anyway, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of fun, and I'll see you in a minute. Here we go. I'm all set up for Kiki versus Chibitronics. Ding, ding, ding. In this corner, weighing in at about half an ounce, <laughs> are the Chibitronics LED stickers. Woo! Uh, we have a Chibitronics basics kit here which you can see I'm missing a battery out of because I played with that when I was doing the circuit scribe video and it's sitting around here somewhere. We also have a bunch of LED lights. We have the colored ones and there are some white ones in there also I believe even though they're kind of mixed up right now. In this corner, you have your Chibitronic sensors and AT Tiny 85 pack. So, you'll see by looking at the back here that we have a little controller sensor. Oh, come on. I better take it out of the package. It's a Chibi pack. Okay. Oh, back here we have a little chibi template so that you can draw if you're using your circuit scribe pen you can draw pads for your electronics and here we've got our let's see if you can focus on that it's a chibitronics programming adapter right there so you can plug it into your computer and this here plugs into that. It's the microcontroller. And you'll notice that it's got all of these pads that you can attach things to. You've got a light here. You have sound here. And you have your trigger, which is a switch there. Right there. Okay. Uh, the effects pack is it's a twinkle light and we have a heartbeat light right there so that's one's going to pulse this is a blinking light and here's a fading light so that's programmed all into the lights you don't have to do anything 
Now here's my Circuit Sticker sketchbook. I'm a little wary of playing with this just because it's paper and those are stickers and if you stick it to this you're done. So the controller packs are actually fairly pricey and I don't want to waste them so I will see if I can figure out a way not to. But really I'm doing this for you so it's not a waste, is it now? Here's the first one. It is to put a battery, the negative side down here. This is all supposed to be conductive tape, which the set also comes with. And so you put the tape under the battery, you put an LED here, and then from the positive side of the LED it goes to the positive side of the battery. Then you flip it over and touch the positive conductor to the negative conductor and your light lights up. So what do you think? Is that a good place to start? Maybe I'll do this real quick and you can let me know if you enjoyed it. Okay, so now we're going to do a little more advanced one. Here is this one that requires your battery, your LED, and a pressure sensor cut out of black conductive plastic that they actually give you in the back of the book. So we're going to go ahead and do this activity real quick. Conductive tape. that my positive touches the positive tape, the negative touches the negative tape, and that we get a good adhesion there. Okay. And now I should be able to switch this over and press it down. And it's not working! Why is it not working? There are several reasons. Most likely, the battery is to blame. I'm going to take something metal and touch these two things together to see if my LED lights up. And it doesn't. So now I'm going to see if it's the battery. The battery does not want to stay put. still not working. Even with this lifted up so that the tape covers it and touches, it's still not working. So I'm going to see if for some reason it's just not getting a good connection. Still no. There it goes. There it goes. So this is the area over here I want it to touch and then it will light up. So now let's put the pressure switch back on and it won't touch until I push it really hard. There we go. Little bit of debugging. Uh, I'm used to the debugging stuff not only from playing with electricity but also computer science. There's a lot of debugging. And if you actually look in the back of the book, it has a section on debugging. So it can help you go through some of the common things that happen and 
figure out why your circuit isn't working, it's not always going to work the first time. There are a lot of things that are obvious and a lot of things that are not so obvious. So I suggest you go ahead and get yourself a little bit of conductive tape, some LED stickers, and just a simple little 3 volt battery. These things are not powerful enough to do any damage to you or your loved ones. So in this particular case, playing with electricity is a lot of fun and I think everyone should do it. That was Chibitronics. Aren't they cool? They are so neat and they're fun for all ages, really. These things, they can go from being elementary all the way up to very sophisticated. Try them with a circuit scribe. You will not believe the results. If you want to see the video of me playing with one with my circuit scribe, I'll link that below also. While you're down there, you might as well like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. Happy IT.